Okay students, before I discuss today's topic, we need to revisit Newton's first law and second law. Let's revisit Newton's first law first. What is Newton's first law? If an object is at rest, B is 0, it is at rest, it wants to be at the state of rest, it doesn't want to move. Alright, what is the other case? If an object is moving with certain velocity, let's say 10, it wants to move with a velocity of 10 only. Right? That means an object. If it is at rest, it wants to be at the state of rest. If it is in motion, it wants to be in the state of motion. That was Newton's first law. Now, we shall revisit Newton's second law. Now, the second law says, if an object is at rest, according to first law, it wants to be at rest. However, we can change its state of rest by applying a force. Balanced or unbalanced? Of course, unbalanced. Okay. Similarly, if an object is moving with certain velocity, I can stop it by applying a force. Again, unbalanced force. Right? That means, what does Newton's second law says? The Newton's second law says, by applying force, I can change the state of rest or state of motion. Okay. That's Newton's second law. Now we shall discuss today's topic. The topic is derive Newton's first law from Newton's second law. Ultimately, what you what you need to understand is that the first law is a special case of special case of second law. Right? Let's see how we will derive it mathematically. So, what does the Newton's second law say? The Newton's second law says f is equal to ma. Mathematical expression, these I have discussed before. I think people are going through, the, going through my videos. So, let's say I am saying f is equal to 0. What does f equal to 0 mean? f equal to 0 means there is no force. Right? So if I put f equal to 0 here, that becomes m a equal to 0. Now what is m? m is nothing but the mass. Can the mass of an object be 0? No, right? Mass cannot be 0. So if m a is equal to 0 and mass is not 0, so ultimately we have acceleration is equal to 0. That means the object has 0 acceleration. Now look over here. This is going to be very very interesting. This you have to understand. When acceleration can be zero? Acceleration can be zero in two cases. One, if the object is at rest, then it can happen. So there are also rho as way to move in So you have only acceleration, right? So this is one case that can happen. What's the other case that can happen? The object can move in a straight line. The object can move in a straight line with constant velocity getting or not let's say if an object is moving with the speed v is equal to 10 and it is maintaining the same velocity 10 only so in that case there is no acceleration all right these two can happen is it understood think about it these two cases are nothing but these two this one and this one these two cases are nothing but first law only. Right? Try to understand. If there is no force, if there is no force, the object will be at rest or it will be moving with the same velocity. Right? That was the first law. What does the first law say? An object is at rest, it wants to be at rest. If an object is moving with certain velocity, it will be moving with the same velocity. Right? So, we are basically proving the same thing here from where I have proved it from the second law. Isn't it? So, what I need to do, please go to my video and then please read the textbook to clarify this concept because this concept is very, very important. Alright? Please do it. 
If you still have any doubt, you can ask.